within the median has already started. And a chicken them are jerking them man. Them are do the dread work. <laughs> and see that they are working very hard in this location. Pan side at this time. We can see that this road has been expanded, putting in a massive drain. The drain work taking place, but the pipe work has been done. redevelopment as we cruise from Grand Spence community directly towards Yalas Bay and we'll show you the rapid changes that is taking place in this community at this point a mega crane is entering the road and you can see that they are working very hard in this location I see a lot of bridge not bridge uh, culverts going in so it's a good look for this area it shows that they are they, they are they are working fast so I think that this is very good very good development taking place in the parish so as a cruise towards Albion exiting Grand Spen at this point we can see that the road has been widened we can see that the pipe work has been done and most importantly we can see that the work to put in the median has already started so just looking we can look how the concrete smooth uh, why the, the level of engineering that goes into creating these media and looks like millimeter perfection so looking good heading towards the community of Albion so I think check is working on steroids to produce quality results we can see where they are doing prunings of trees we can see that big bulldozer out moving earth at this point you can see the men giving directives for a detour looking very good nice community so as you can see you can see the work taking place is that a grader don't know if that's what they call it but we can see that bulldozer also anybody know the size if it's a d what i don't know but leave your comment in the comment section so the people can know and we as you can see we're on a detour road just to ensure that we give way to the development of this area I think they are doing a phenomenal job and you don't see this kind of development happening in St. Thomas every day beautiful weekend my gosh what more can I say the people deserves it the parish deserves it and of course we can see the spin-offs from these kinds of investment to the left a recent retaining wall or whatever you call it I don't know if it's retaining or whatever wall or fence was constructed probably take about three months they did it snappy so Based on that wall that they built, we are expecting to see that this area 
will be changing like one, two, three in a few months as things steams up for this area. So there will be a four lane highway running through this area to the, 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 the bridge, the Yalas Bridge. And it's a good investment in the parish. This area is highly populated and I'm sure that it will be the community of desire getting to work in Kingston and from work or business, whatever it is that one does. Easy access. Wow. I think this is money that's you know, going to good use. With that said though, we can see that the men are out doing the drain work. You can see the drain work taking place. And a chicken them are jerking them. Man. Them are do the drain work. <laughs> Leave a comment in the comment section. Remember to subscribe. Blessings to you and your family. Subscription is free. We are cruising towards the community of well, them call out to that section, your poor man's corner. You know, maybe when the highway is completed, they will call it rich man's corner. Because with that kind of development, you know, comes investment. You cannot call the area poor man's corner anymore. It has to be referred to as rich man's corner. You know? <laughs> Uh, if you agree or disagree with me, leave the comment in the comment section. Nonetheless, we are behind a dump truck at this time as we gently cruise through uh, sections that were disturbed to lay the water pipes. And that's you know something we can work with for some time until they totally complete the road so i think we just have to bear with the engineers working and most importantly take our time on the road because i see where there are accidents taking place especially on the freshly paved section of the highway even though it's not completed uh, there are persons uh, who, who basically uh, are speed and you know we hear about it and we see it so while we enjoy the development let us remember to take not only our safety into concerns and others, but think about the resources of the country that we could save when we don't have to face a doctor or a nurse because of uh, negligence, so to speak. And, you know, let us let us let us you know be mindful that you can always buy another car another truck whatever it is but you can't always buy another limb or a life if you understand what i'm saying so let us be very careful especially to my viewers who are watching within this location so we know that this particular section is or was notorious for flooding. It had a situation where it was like a pool, but now we can see where the developer is putting in a massive drain to deal with the high volumes of water that normally run through this area so I think it's commendable I believe that they 
they have done their research and they would be aware that that area is a troubled spot whenever it rains and so I think that that drain that they are putting in is very good very good so we are cruising the same way as I said I'll terminate this video at Yalas Bay um, I am cruising towards the um, the the town area we can see that they have done some what you would call pipe work underground work and I think that also is very good because as I've always said you can't invest billions of dollars putting in these infrastructure only for the, the water commission to just drive in with a backhoe and just start dig it up and then they said oh you know that we have signed an agreement with the national works agency and as a result we expect that every time we excavate an area we inform them and that they should do speedy restoration of that area tired of the lip service so basically this is very good you know very very good um, we expect that this kind of development you know more things will be happening in the in the east we already see it we see the developers confidence and that's commendable so um, yeah, good move. Uh, we are passing an area that you could use to access the Yalas High School. Um, as we cruise behind this, uh, you would say a tractor trailer. Uh, no, not a tractor trailer, a dump truck. So it's a. Uh, so we, we move along. Going into Yalas Bay, you can see the lush green mountain. Ah, it's looking very good. You can see that the pipe work to the side has been completed. Um, that's very good. So we expect in some time to come that they will you know start the excavation like removing the asphalt putting in the curb walls etc the sidewalk especially for the students who normally walk from Yalas primary and Yalas high school to enter the town yeah, there has to be some sidewalks to accommodate um, those pedestrians because with new road you know people are speed and the police may never be able to do enough to, to, to prevent stuff from happening but we have to be proactive and see what could happen and put in place infrastructures that will avert instances of hit and run and so on. That said, um, we move towards the town center. Um, this area, as I've always said, is notorious for its jerk chicken. And it's known for its, uh, what I would say now, yeah, nice little business district.
always, even on a Sunday. Look, you see, we live like congestion, and this is just a Sunday. So just imagine on a Friday or a Saturday, you know. Um, This kind of development, one may ask when the foliage comes onto this area, uh, is it that they are going to need a divert uh, an alternate route to provide the town center or just keep it and work with the congestion? I don't know. But either way, um, it's good that. We are seeing work taking place. Um, good for the parish, and we will terminate this video at Humphrey. So we look forward to see what is taking place at one side. Um, see the changes taking place there mm. so you see this was always the problem with the existing road whenever there is a heavy equipment in the road there is no way to pass it the road you know tend to be narrow but assuming upon completion of this road that the authorities will take these uh, or the developers will take these concerns into thought because they can see the vehicle is parking along the road so I guess they will have to make accommodations for those like soft shoulders where vehicles can park and also possible pedestrian sidewalks for those who are of the disabled community who may not be able to um, what do I say now who may not be able to to use the to use the the, the, the road as an able-bodied person so I believe they will make those kind of facilitations for wheelchair for the man who using cane you know cane is referred to not the one that you eat not the sugar cane but the one that you hold and the, the, the pound it on the ground and it echo a certain sound so they know where they are going and based on that they can make certain decisions for those who use the wheelchair I mean you know I guess they will make facilitations for those people as well so it's a good look but tune into the channel you will see the development as things progress good things are happening in saint thomas and one of the most important advice i would give to young persons you know don't sit back say nothing and go on if nothing and go on make something happen if you can't get an opportunity, create an opportunity. If you can't see this level of development taking place, pipe, pipe work, road expansion, uh, business start constructions, houses being developed, properties being developed, hotels making plan to to, 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 to make the footprint out here and you just sit down and say well nothing now I'm going and you don't try to get some form of certifications where you can put behind your name to say look this is what I'm qualified for and this is what I can do and this is what I bring to the table or if it's some business opportunity whatever it is but always do something always try to read a book 
you know, it expands your horizon, you know, it allows you to think different and uh, um, just do something, just always do something. So, we're cruise, cruising through one side at this time. We can see that this road has been expanded significantly. And uh, for the heavy units with the long containers, I know you guys will appreciate this. So this is where we will we'll terminate the video. And uh, you know, really appreciate the support of the channel, the feedback, continue to support. You know, subscribers, we're really grateful for the growth of the channel. You guys have really stepped up to the plate and just smashed that red button, make it become white. And the tank, you know, because if it wasn't for you guys, why the channel would not grow. So, I really appreciate that, you know. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend. This is where we are from now. Blessings.